why is it that we can have anything that we want, desire to have or be? Why is it and how is it that it just is possible? This is what I want to talk about in this video. Many of you have commented or my one-on-one -on -one clients have told me they were feeling good and then you're feeling off that you're riding high and then you're low and that you're just frustrated and you don't know how to consistently remain feeling good that feeling like you know that everything is okay in this video i want to share with you why that is not a requirement and it's something that we have bought into believing that we have to feel a certain way to have what we want welcome my name is rose and welcome to the rosy life where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me go to rosylife.com or you can join the rosy life course and community where we meet weekly and i answer your questions live and those are all recorded so you can watch them as many times as you want to even the ones from all the way from last year when the course and community began all right and you can answer your questions all the time in there answer your ask questions and answer other questions actually and then there's 12 parts of lessons for you to do self-paced to put your focus back within all right so let's get started here you guys this topic is going to give you goosebumps because it it does for me every single time and and that at the question that many like thousands of you right at this point on my channel which thank you so much look at we're growing thank you for subscribing to the rosy life you guys and thank you for liking the videos and thank you for sharing my channel with others so that the rosy life continues to grow and there's so many of you asking that how is it possible i don't even have a bank account i don't have a job or i don't have this or i don't have that and then there's others that just flat out are at that point where they just don't want to believe it's possible that it's dangerous to think that you can earn money without working for it and all of these fears and questions and doubts and i get it but what i want to remind you is that the truth is simple whether you believe it or not the truth is simple that you have everything and you the kingdom of god is within you that means in our divine imagination if you can see it and imagine it that means it already exists in a reality for you to experience and all you're doing is claiming it by assuming that it is who you are now so what happens though let's say that you are assuming it and you have assumed it or you're just learning about this right here's what i want to share with you because this is what a lot of people have been telling me recently they said i'm assuming it but then they feel they have an off day they're feeling good they're feeling confident they feel the knowing the conviction they feel they they just know they trust and they know who they are and they're like but then they they wake up in a bad mood right or something happens and they're just you know get like off their game and then they're just mad and then they're just thinking oh now I got to start all over again or I was never in it to begin with I was just fooling myself lying to myself this doesn't work this is where all that goes okay now if this is very normal I want to start with that that those thoughts and feelings are very normal because this is how we're all conditioned to think that our feelings dictate if something is good or bad right or wrong that our feelings are dictating the answer that they control what we do our thoughts and our feelings this is what you're taught is that they are telling you what to do next your feelings and your thoughts are telling you right what is happening and what's going to happen and then you believe them and then if they're bad then you think that bad is going to happen if they're good then you think okay that something good is going to happen but before long something bad is going to happen do you see so if you get sucked into your feelings this is normal because this is what people have been conditioned to do so you don't have to ignore your feelings you just feel them but the truth of who you are that's what i want to get into in this video because this is what i want you to remember and and lean into further right when you are experiencing feelings because feelings and thoughts don't have to be managed and controlled or coped with all right they just are they exist and i wrote here feelings and thoughts are a 3d thing i think this is going to be a little phrase on the rosy life now right feelings and thoughts that's a 3d thing right that's not me i experienced them they feel very real 
and they're there right but it's a 3d thing it's not a me thing it's not an i am thing it's not god it's not love do you see and yeah they actually are part of god and part of love okay because you're expressing some form of love okay but it's not your identity do you see the difference it's not the truth of who you are these are effects okay so first we have an assumption you create and you choose an assumption rather you declare that i am this right i am whatever it is that you want and then you say okay now i'm going to have from that assumption that inspired thoughts feelings and actions begin to take place and after you declare something all your thoughts and feelings and assumptions that they're coming from this new assumption but then what happens is somebody is doing that and then they experience negative feelings like they start like this is a compilation of different clients this week so far of that they're feeling off or down or anxious or ha and then happy and excited right those are all feelings okay those are all feelings and but these are all effects of some assumption that you had, that you're having, right? So what do you do with this? Okay, so you're assuming what you desire and then you're like, okay, all my thoughts, feelings, and inspired actions are now from this. But then you feel off or you feel anxious or you doubt or you're feeling whatever. All Even happy, excited, I put in here, okay? Because all these feelings are effects. They're all effects of some assumption. So feelings, right, are proof of the state that you're in Okay, but then what are you going to do with that proof? What are you going to do with the proof of the assumption or state that you're in? That's what, that is where your power is. So you don't have to fix feelings and thoughts. It's, show, it's showing you. Okay, so what do you do? You ask yourself, do I like these thoughts and feelings? Well, if they feel, it don't feel good, you're probably going to say no. <laughs> if you do, then just keep, keep going, keep assuming away, right? But I'm referring to these feelings of feeling down, anxious, all of those things, doubt. Ask yourself, do I like these feelings and thoughts? No. Okay, no, then it's, it's no longer who I am. Okay, so that assumption was showing you old old feelings old thoughts and you ask yourself do i like these thoughts and feelings no then that's no longer who i am because i already said who i am i declared who i am and those old thoughts and feelings of old assumptions they might be showing up still right while i am putting my heels into my new assumption and that could and that is instant by the way just because the opposite doesn't mean you're no longer in your assumption it just means that old assumptions are showing up but you now this is where you take action this is the action people think you don't take any action but this is the action that you take you say no then it's no longer who i am who i who am i then that's what you ask yourself i am that assumption whatever i declared i am do you see so no do i like these feelings thoughts no then that's not who i am then who am i I am whoever I say I am. Do you see? And that is the action. This is all the action that you take. And because from the assumption, remember, you will have inspired thoughts, feelings, and actions. So you will take other actions. But this is the only action that matters because this is you moving in consciousness. You're moving your awareness to what you want to be focused on. Okay? So love unconditional love now this is the feelings right but why is it that we get whatever we want why is it that we can have whatever we want well we're going to i want to really get into this because this is actually something that um a client and i talked about yesterday and we both were just like whoa that's so cool right but that realization hit home even deeper right so why can we have whatever we want why is it that nothing matters? Why is it that no conditions matter? Circumstances don't matter. Time doesn't matter. Why is it that what I said did in the past doesn't matter? Why is it that what's happening right now doesn't matter? Why is it that nothing can get in the way of what I desire? of my assumption why is that how is it possible for all of you wanting to know how is possible that something could be go from like looking like it's you know dire straits to having what you want how is that possible here's the how i'm going to share with you the how that's within you within all of us okay love unconditional love i'm not talking about 
human love, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, but love, unconditional love is God, is I am. Okay, so when you say I am, when you're making an assumption, I am whatever you say you are, right? That is God in action. Love, that is love, unconditional love in action. However, love, unconditional love, divine love has no conditions, none, not even to feel it. Love doesn't even have a condition or requirement to feel it. Love doesn't need to be felt. Do you see? It just knows it's love. Love just knows it's love. And in order for it to be real, pure, unconditional love, it doesn't require even to, for it to be felt or for it to be receiving something in return. It doesn't need any reciprocal, doesn't need anything back from you. It doesn't need you to change. It doesn't need you to do anything different. It doesn't need you to speak different, think different, see yourself different. It doesn't need to, you to do anything because love is just love and we're going to keep going on this okay so love does not require you to feel it and validate your assumption that's you you do right in other words so what people do is they assume something and then it's been a minute a day or two a week or whatever and then they're just like oh i don't feel it anymore love is not requiring you to feel it so why should you when you assume something, you are using that power of God, that power of love within you to declare it. Like I said in another video, you assume it and then that arrow gets shot out. The law is in motion, right? It doesn't require you to feel it. It just requires you to choose it and to stand on it and to assume that is yours because it is yours. It's all within us right so you're the only one requiring yourself to feel a certain way to stop feeling bad or sad or anxious and then you should feel happy glad excitement relaxed peaceful you're creating all these requirements on that you should feel something for, for your assumption to be true for to have evidence that you're going to get what you want love is not requiring you to do that you are love does not require certain thoughts love does not require you to have certain thought patterns or to not think negative thoughts, or to not have them at all, to be perfect with your thinking. Love is not requiring that for you. You are, that's you, you're doing it. Do you see? You're requiring the thoughts to be a certain way. You're requiring yourself to feel a certain way. Love isn't, that's you. So divine love is impersonal, and impersonal is why it's so powerful. Human love is personal, okay? You get your feelings hurt, right? Someone hurt your feelings, someone broke your heart, those kind of things. No, divine love is impersonal and doesn't mean it doesn't love you. It's the opposite. It loves you so much. It doesn't only knows how to love you. Divine love is impersonal. It loves to love. That's his, that's his reason. That's his existence. It, it, divine love loves to love. That's it. That's it. There's no other purpose for divine love. Unconditional love loves to love. It's not seeking to be loved. It's not seeking for you to leave and love it. It's not even wanting you to love it back. And it's not wanting you to give it anything. It just is. Love just is. It only knows itself as love. And it's whole. It's complete. Lacking nothing. And this is what you're made of. This is what I'm made of. This is what who we all are. Okay? So love, the human love. Now I looked this up because I was curious in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, right? I was like, what do what do people, what are you know most people defining as love? And I already knew the answer, but I wanted to have a quote here for you, right? So in the Webster dictionary, it says, um, love is a strong affection. All right, strong, effect, strong affection for someone, for another rather, it's, or attraction, or affection. Do you see, it's all feelings. This is all feelings based, okay? And that is what Webster Dictionary, and that is what most people identify is a strong feeling, a strong sense of affection for another, or attraction, like, like sexual attraction, or father daughter or our father son or family or your pet or your friends or whatever that that's a, this affection right but this is human love because it's requiring another to be there or it's requiring a reciprocal thing right or that presence of that person is required in order for you to feel love that's human love i'm not what i'm talking about is not human love 
okay? It's not human love. It's not heartbreak. It's not hurts. Love doesn't hurt. That's all that human love in that with the judgment behind it. So love is, and this is, you guys have heard this before, but I want to really slow this down, right? In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, love is patient. So I'm not talking about human love. We're talking about divine, unconditional love. Remember, love is loves just to love so love is patient love is kind it does not envy so it's not jealous it's not jealous of your of your your significant other it's not jealous of your friends success it's not jealous of other people it's not jealous because someone else has what you want it's not jealous it doesn't care so you, it does not boast it doesn't have to show off it doesn't have to constantly show off I'm better and better and better how can it be better it doesn't boast it's not proud do you see it does not dishonor others it, it does not dishonor others it's not self-seeking it's not easily angered and keeps no records of wrong I wanted to stop there it love doesn't keep records wrong in other words you're the one judging yourself saying well if i want to have a wonderful relationship and maybe you've been um you've considered yourself to be not nice in previous relationships or you think that you don't know how to be in a re healthy relationship or that you've had money and you and you spent it and you ruined your credit or whatever it's like love doesn't keep records of those wrongs love doesn't see that do you see it's impersonal it's it's like it doesn't see these things so it love rejoices in the truth do you see love rejoices in the truth and it never fails my favorite part love never fails it's divine unconditional love that never fails you that is why you can have whatever you want whatever you assume it's not even about wanting and i say wanting because that's where the desire comes from from i want this right but then you move from wanting and desiring it to assuming that you have it because it's already within you and love seeks to love that's it it's not it doesn't even ask anything for from you in return love just is love it love seeks to love that is his purpose and your desires are coming from love wanting to continue expressing itself because that is the purpose of love so when you have a desire for anything there is no small medium and large with love there's no easy difficult or difficult or or oh that's a piece of cake love doesn't see any of those measurements love doesn't see distance or time none of it do you see love is love and it doesn't require anything for it to be unconditional it cannot require a single thing not even to be loved back you don't even have to be grateful you don't even have to be thankful you don't even have to love it back love just loves you no matter what and when you really embrace this when you start even just give yourself a moment to let this sink in that you are loved so unconditionally you can't do a damn thing wrong there is nothing that you can do wrong there's nothing that you've done wrong there's nothing that you can mess up there is nothing going wrong in your life. Love just loves you. No matter what you think you look like, no matter what you feel, you're feeling, love only seeks to express itself through your desires, through what you assume that you are. And that is why you can have anything you want because it is all yours now. And love just seeks to express itself further through whatever it is that you have your heart's desire on. I hope this video was helpful and I intend that it really helped those who have been asking how do I feel loved when I haven't felt it or how do I experience or embody that I am. This is love. Love is who you are. 
This is what is within each and every one of us and no one is exempt. No one has more or less than the other. We are just putting our awareness, remembering that this is who we are. We are this unconditional divine love and that human love, nothing wrong with it. Okay, that is also an expression of love, but that is not the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are is unconditional love. So one point I wanted to make is instead of trying to be these attributes, okay, instead of trying, that is because a lot of, I know, um, different churches or circles or whatever, people talk about trying to be these and then they judge, they use this scripture to judge each other. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're not doing this because that's what people try to do. They try to live up to this. Don't try to live up to this. You don't have to try to be this. And if you find yourself being jealous or you find yourself feeling angry, that doesn't mean that that unconditional love's not in you. Remember, it's impartial. It doesn't see what you think is wrong with you. It doesn't see what you think you've done bad. It doesn't see that. So it's an example of how, who you are and how you love yourself and, and how you can love the world and how you can love others because this is already innate in you. A client today said, she said, okay, I'm gonna write these things down because I want it to really stick into my subconscious mind. And I said, stop trying to stick things into your subconscious mind so that it, does, it stays there like these, the truth of who you are. I said, it's stuck in there. You don't have to stick anything in there. It's already, this unconditional love, it's stuck in there. All I'm inviting you to do is be aware of it. And you're aware of it by just contemplating on what unconditional love truly is. It really means there's no conditions. There is nothing, nothing that can separate you from the love of God, which is in you. All right, my loves, thank you again for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to The Rosie Life. And thank you for your all your wonderful love and support. I truly appreciate every, every single one of you. And for those of you who have emailed, I will get to you guys. Um, quite a few emails that come in. So I love you all because you really, truly are so freaking amazing. And I love you so, so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.